Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody, or x -Code. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching from, inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. Today's video takes place at a Wiz Khalifa concert that I went to a couple days ago. A lot of my life stories happened in the past when I was a crazy teenager. This one was super recent and has a crazy ending. So after literal years of waiting for another Wiz Khalifa concert, I think it was 2019 before all this sickness started. And that year I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a year off of concerts because in 2018 I went to like three or four. So I just felt like I was burnt out of them a little bit. It was a great year to take a year off because then the next two years the sickness happened. So, you know, no concerts. Anyways, finally on my way to a Wiz Khalifa concert. Also seeing Waka Flocka Flame. It's a nice day out. I got pre-rolled joints in my pocket. Went up to Northampton, Mass. Massachusetts, where I'd been a couple times to go to like dispensaries and get the very expensive recreational weed and mass. It was almost nostalgic when I walked through that gate. Just the smell alone, the faint smell of a blunt with mid being smoked in the distance, mixed with the body odor of a couple hundred people. What a vibe. I swear, something about those smells together just make you want to buy a beer chicken tenders and french fries so the first thing i did when i got there kind of walking around checking everything out there was a cool car show that i didn't know that was also there dude saw a bunch of cool supras and one of the one of the cool dudes there with a fucking snazzy car that i wish i was a car guy to tell you and i wish i got a picture what the hell's wrong with me anyways he had this cool ass car it was like on the ground like the suspension must have been Listen, I'm just gonna stop here, okay? Listen, it was on the fucking ground. The car guys watching know what's up. He looked 8 out of 10 baked, said what's up, he watched my videos. It was super cool to meet him. I think I met like maybe 6 or 7 people total during this event. Super cool. Everybody was really nice and it was, and it's always really cool to meet people. Now I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm sitting having this conversation with the viewer and he wants to smoke with me. He pulls out this pre-roll. He's got the fucking straight from the dispensary gelato crossed with runs or maybe runs gelato, one or the other. I'm sitting there, oh geez, oh geez, because I don't want to get too baked. This has been a while since I've been in this environment. You got that fucking loud bass speaker vibrating your organs nonstop. You smoke a pre-roll joint from the dispensary of some gelato runts on top of that. Your whole body's vibrating. I gladly took a rip or two off of that joint and got blasted. I'm going a, I'm to a keep it real. I even was like, dude, I'm going to keep it real. I don't want to get too high right now. And he looked back at me. His eyes, he was getting 9 out of 10 high at this point. He's like, dude, honestly, me too. That dispo bud from Mass. It's expensive, but man, is it strong. So after that, walking around, trying to just figure out where things are. I had bought VIP tickets. And I had access to something called the Baller Tent. So I assumed there was going to be some cool stuff going on. I just could not find it for the life of me. Had to ask people. And I ended up walking up to someone and I was like, hey, do you know where this Baller Tent is? And they're like, yeah, right next to you, man, right here. <laughs> like the one person I ask is the person right next to the tent, of course. But anyways, after that 20 minute excursion of walking around, I get into this tent and realize that there's no one checking, like there's no one at the, the front of the tent checking VIP tickets. There's there's really nothing special about this VIP, so I was hustled, okay? I was finessed out of about 30 or 40 extra dollars for VIP access to this tent that anybody could walk into. But I will say it was like the one secluded area where you could sit down and like actually catch your breath from the bass vibrating your organs. And now listen, I know that's the reason you go to a concert to get your organs vibrate. Okay, listen, I gotta stop using this as an adjective. The bass speakers are the reason to go to the concert. I was fucking baked trying to calm down, trying to catch my breath. Being in that tent definitely did the trick. Grab some water. Waited in line for about 10 minutes for the water. Not bad. Can't complain about that. What I can complain is when I left the tent and tried to figure out where I could where I could get a measly alcoholic beverage. Just just one drink, you know, one one beer to get the concert vibes rolling. Just to get a little bit of that nervousness off my back, you know? The the shit winds to blow them in the other direction. Cause I got a little bit of uh, you know, social anxiety. When I'm crowded in in that concert scenario, everybody's jumping. And now we're talking Wiz Khalifa concert, so the, you know, there's just an abundance of weed smoke constantly hitting you in the face. And now that's not always a bad thing, but when you're trying to catch your breath here, so I'm, I'm looking around and I notice that there's this one giant line, the line, like there's only one line. 
and all the other vendors have like maybe five, 10 people max. So I'm thinking to myself, this is the one with alcohol. It's also the only vendor I see people walking away with alcohol. So I'm like, oh fuck, here we go. So I just get in line and there's kind of like a carnival game next to me, like in the line, like they, they, they placed it very strategically. So you literally have to stand next to it, hearing the guy say, come play, come spend your money, you know, while you're waiting in line. And it's almost like you want to, cause you're so fucking bored. But I walk up to the guy and I'm like, Hey man, do you know if this is the only vendor with a beard? And he like gets kind of close and he's like, I've heard that there's a VIP access only bar, but I don't know anything else about it. But yeah, that's the only vendor with beer. So I waited about 40 minutes in this line, finally got into this place. You had to go in, show a lady your ID to get another bracelet. It was weird. I already had a bracelet that was, said I was 21, had to get another bracelet saying I was 21. And from there, I could buy a drink ticket and then exchange the ticket for a beer. If I had to guess, it's some great way to get around taxes, man. If that's the, if that's the case, fuck yeah, dude. I respect that shit. But making me wait 40 minutes in line with shit, dude. They gotta have three of these things set up or something, right? I finally got my $7 Corona Extra. I'm shimmying my way over to the concert area. and It was perfect timing. I have to say, the timing could not be more perfect. I stepped foot on the lawn. Also, I thought there was gonna be a VIP viewing area. Absolutely not. <laughs> that was like the reason I bought VIP tickets. The moment my foot stepped on the lawn, the announcer at the concert like switched the music and was like, are you ready for Waka Flocka Flame? Like everybody went crazy. It honestly, it wasn't even that crowded. So I squeezed my way into a good, good viewing arrangement. Not too crazy. I wasn't trying to get anywhere near first row because it was looking chaotic already at that point. Now Waka Flocka Flame has always been an artist that I appreciate. I know a couple songs. I like it. It's just none of them are on the playlist, all right? I've not never been like a diehard fan, but I do appreciate his music and I know he's a fantastic artist. His concert was fucking lit. I recognized most of the songs that he played and they were just 10 out of 10 amazing. To be honest, I think this I, they had the speakers cranked louder for Waka Flocka Flame than Wiz Khalifa. The speakers were like MLG montage level loud. The bass was like distorted almost. It was fucking awesome. I think before he came on, they even played a couple songs by X, which was super cool because I had never heard any of X's song like in a live concert setting like that. Okay, so here's where the beginning of the foreshadowing. So there's two groups of people. The one to my left, is like two or three girls that all showed up during this performance and on my right were like three or four people with like fuzzy jackets and they all looked like they were tripping on acid and right as waka flock of flames performance ended once again i gotta say it was fucking lit at the end of his performance the group of girls to my left pulls out this beer bong and starts chugging back this like seltzer margarita tall boy can and immediately i just when i saw that going down like they were passing it around giving it to like other people surrounding this group i i could just tell by the way that just a look on their faces it was going bad it was just going south but i just ignored it paid attention to the concert this was the intermission you know wait we had to wait like 25 minutes in between for wiz khalifa to come on and during this in between other than seeing them do the beer bong the dudes on the right are saying all these like funny things that you'd say to each other when you're tripping on acid like yo everybody is love i'm having the time of my life and that was the funniest thing that i could hear them say is everyone is love can we just pause for a moment i just cannot imagine being in this type of like scenario tripping on something i don't know how people do that i don't know why and i i will never understand how someone could even think about going to a concert while tripping it sounds like the complete opposite of everything I'd ever want to do. I think I'd feel like that guy in the Vice documentary that they sent to Monster Jam on acid. That's exactly how I'd feel. I remember this, this feel, this internal panic when I looked around that now that Wiz Khalifa is up next, everybody started crowding up and just, you know, pushing each other a little bit. And it wasn't crammed whatsoever. This was like super chill. But when I looked around me, there was no exit. I could push through people and manage to get out of the crowd for sure. But just like that feeling of just being like, oh shit, there is just no way out of it. And on top of this feeling of no escape, I'm now realizing there's a situation to my left of a bunch of people doing beer bongs. Now I got this worry that I'm about to get puked on at any random point in time. That 25, 30 minutes of waiting for Wiz Khalifa to come on was, was uncomfortable, I gotta say, to say the least. But as soon as he came on, man, was it awesome. 
But one thing happened before he came on. The girls didn't even make it to Wiz Khalifa because one of them turned around, had that puke face going on, had the hand over the mouth, and just ran behind me. It was it was clutch. It was a clutch jump back. All right, the one-two step. All right, I saw that come out. I was like, whoa, saw that coming from 10 minutes ago. Finessed my way out of that situation. They had a clear path to get the fuck out. All right, very clear path. I got right out of the way. So it was just the rest of the crowds in the fuzzy jacket tripping dudes remaining. Wiz Khalifa comes on, incredible. Plays the classics, Weedem Boys, Taylor Gang, Mesmerized. Some new songs like Iced Out Necklace that just dropped like a week ago. I gotta say, Massachusetts smokes some big ass joints. There's people walking around with like maybe 10 gram joints in the crowd, like the, the huge raw cones packed. There was someone with a bubble machine blowing smoke bubbles all over the crowd the whole time. And about half of Wiz Khalifa's performance, one of the dudes in the, in the snazzy fuzzy jackets in front of us was super tall and he like moved his way in front of me so I could like barely see. I'm kind of like looking left, looking right. That's the worst when like someone who's seven feet tall just just so happens to be in front of you at the concert. But about halfway through the Wiz performance, in the middle of a song, this dude turns around looking bewildered, really freaked out, and just pushed his way past me and just got the hell out of there. I didn't think anything of it at the time because I was like having the time of my life, listening to Wiz perform like 50 feet away from me. It was awesome. And on top of it, because this dude was tall as hell, then there's this opening in front of me, so now I have even more space. It was great. The entire performance was really, really incredible. I have to recommend a Wiz Khalifa concert if you've never been to one and you're into his music. It's always a good time. He ended with See You Again, and they had this, like, fireworks show going. It was, it was definitely super dope. Full moon in the background, too. So the concert ends. Everybody disperses. Dude, the bathroom lines were fucking crazy after that. I got to pee so fucking bad. And it's like a 45, 50 minute drive home. My ride is already on the way, so I'm bugging out. I got to find somewhere to pee. I managed to find a porta potty, which actually wasn't that bad. I don't even know if people knew about these, the secret porta potties, I guess. But as I'm walking to the porta potty, I hear screaming. Someone is screaming at the top of their lungs. It's not like someone's arguing. It's not like someone's yelling at somebody because they're mad. It's like a, a primal scream. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Why are you doing this to me? It sounded like someone was being kidnapped and their legs were being broken with baseball bats. It was fucking insane. And there was this little crowd of people and behind the crowd of people there was just probably eight or nine cops all surrounding this dude. There's at least five or six cops pinning him to the ground, like having trouble pinning him to the ground. The dude's flailing around like a fish out of water on the ground, screaming. His face is like beet red. His eyes are dilated as fuck. And then I realized that was one of the dudes that was right in front of me at the concert that turned around in the middle of the Wiz Khalifa song. I don't know what happened or how he got in that scenario, but he must have had every cop that was hired for this event on top of him. I couldn't even tell you what drug he was on. Let me know if you could guess in the comments down below, but my only guess is some really bad acid or something. He started peeking at the wrong time and just bugged out, went to go get help, but then maybe swung at an officer or something. Like, that's the only scenario I can think of. Six cops pinning you against the concrete, screaming, not knowing where you are, what's going on. This guy was on another planet. I kind of keep my distance, walk by him and go on the porta potty, go pee and... By the time I walk out, I was like, all right, by the time I get back here, I'm hoping that, you know, an ambulance shows up. But no, 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 no. That was probably 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes of him being pinned down before the, the ambulance finally showed up because I had walked by him again and went to go to another vendor to, to buy something before I left. It had probably taken me, you know, another 10 minutes to find the vendor, find the thing I wanted to buy and then walk all the way back. And then he was still pinned down as I walked through the gate. That's when the ambulance was showing up. I cannot imagine. That That must be some like lifelong serious trauma. And this is exactly why I would never fucking trip at a concert. This is something that would happen to me, I swear. I would freak the fuck out and, and then end up pinned down by cops, sent to the hospital, and then I'd be tripping in a hospital setting for 12 hours, tied down to a chair probably. I cannot imagine what that guy's night was like. I, I feel like... There's no way that something like that can't traumatize you. He was having like a psychotic episode. He had no idea where he was. He was probably blind tripping, 
thinking that demons were on top of him or something. The only other time I've ever seen anybody react in that manner was off of some really fucked up K2. But I, I, don't, I didn't see him smoking anything and he had the fuzzy jacket on with all his friends and they all said they were tripping on something. So that's why I assume it was acid. Unless they all ate an ounce of mushrooms each or something and the, he was gone. Category 11 gone. As crazy as this was for me to witness, I really do feel like this thing happens quite a lot at concerts. So let me know if you've ever witnessed something or if something unfortunate like this has ever happened to you in the comments down below. I really enjoyed going to the Wiz Khalifa concert. It was absolutely a fantastic time, even though I kind of got scammed a little bit with the VIP tickets. Huge thank you to everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the secret unlisted videos that I've been making over on Patreon. Check the link in the description for more information. Your support really helps me out and I cannot thank you guys enough. That's definitely probably my craziest concert experience I've ever had or like something that happened at a concert. Really because it was like the guy that was in front of me. Like what are those chances? I will definitely be going to the future Wiz Khalifa Logic concert coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Follow my cat on Instagram. Peace.